Hi, we're Emily Lee and Hudson. We're from the UK and after some years living abroad in Thailand and Gozo where we got married, we wanted to be closer to nature with our own land for self-sufficiency. So we followed our dream and moved to rural Bulgaria in 2019 in a bid to become debt and stress free and property owners. Follow us on our journey as we renovate our future home, showcase Bulgarian village life and share some useful tips as we learn along the way. We've got big plans on a tiny budget. Welcome to our derelict dream. Hello everyone. Uh, happy Monday. I hope you all had a good weekend. Um, ours was all right. Wasn't uh wasn't a normal weekend. Saturday was um, it was a bit of a write-off with regards to work, so we went for a, a nice drive. Uh, hopefully, you liked that video. It was um, yeah, really, really nice. Super cold, but um, yeah, the drive was phenomenal. We um, we ran out of battery halfway through <laughs> on the camera, <clears throat> so we weren't able to show you the uh, the full drive, but. Um, yeah, some really cool icicles and stuff. So yeah, if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch that one. It's, um, it's cool. I like it. So I'm outside the house, um, I'll flip you around and you tell me if you can see any uh, changes. Yeah, um, no cats. <sighs> On Thursday, um, we bought the last remaining female cat that, uh, that has just gone to the vet and, and been done. She's all healed up now. So we brought her to the house to be with her brothers. Um, obviously the plan is for us to move here anyway. And uh, yeah, having them all together seemed real happy, real cool. Now as I do every day, um, I came down Friday, yeah it must have been Friday morning, um, just to, to give the guys a feed, make sure everything's all right. and. Uh, I only saw one of the ginger cats. Really unusual. So we had the female, the tabby, she was missing. And so was one of the other gingers. I didn't think too much of it. Um, you know, they do like to explore, but they, they tend to stay kind of within the confines of the house and, and they'll be outside in the sun. So uh, I thought not to worry, that'd be fine. Put some water down, put some food down. And I came back Saturday same thing i'm starting to get a little bit worried um so me me and em came um with hudson he was sleeping and we we're looking all around the house looking through the barns um it's just really unusual i mean they're always there um yeah they, they don't leave me alone when i'm here it's uh but i miss that now so then we came to Sunday morning, came in and saw the, uh, the ginger boy and he wasn't doing right, he wasn't doing well at all um, and I knew instantly what it was. Uh, we tried to save a stray cat last year, not from our village but from uh, one that we drive through. And we saw this cat uh, convulsing and, you know, I, I thought we had been hit by a car. So we immediately picked it up, put it in the car, went to the vet. And it turned out that it had been um, poisoned with antifreeze. It's uh, horrific. So that cat that we took to the vet, um, unfortunately, had to be put down. The antidote for uh, antifreeze poisoning 
has to be administered within a couple of hours. Um, otherwise, you, you will not be able to save the cat. It's just going to suffer and, and pass away over the next day or so. So it, it's, uh, it's unfortunate that someone would ever do that. Um, but yeah, so we, we did the right thing and we, we put that cat down um, and we buried it in the garden. Planted a little tree next to it, so it's you know, it's it's in a better place now. And now this 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 is exactly what happened to our cat. Um, somebody has has come here and poisoned our pets with antifreeze. So I th I don't know what kind of person would do that. Um, they weren't strays, they weren't pestering anyone, we have no neighbours. We, we don't have antifreeze here. <laughs> so somebody has come with antifreeze and poisoned our cat. Now, we, we took the one ginger that seems to be okay and he's now back at the house and he's fine. So he obviously hasn't been poisoned. But the one, one other ginger boy took him to the vet uh, yesterday morning. Fortunately, they're open for like two hours on a, on a Sunday. So we took him there. I'm obviously fearing the worst because I've, I've seen what this poison is like previously. And, uh, and yeah, they ran the test and it was. Some, somebody's come here and poisoned our animals. Um, it's horrific. So that that ginger boy is uh, is now buried in the garden at the other house, underneath the little tree that we planted, um, and the tabby female is is missing. She's gone. She's she's not been here for four days. I haven't seen her. So uh, yeah, can only think the worst for her. We know that that the cats have been poisoned. It's just the worst feeling in the world. So I'm, I'm sure, as you can imagine, we seem to have a lot of animal lovers on our channel, just like us. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a really tough few days. So we haven't been working on the house. We don't really have a lot of footage uh, to share with you, but I'm, I, I hope that you can understand why our last couple of videos have been a bit short. Um, with with not a lot of work going on on the house um yeah the, now you know why we are however trying to be in high spirits we've um we've got uh em's dad and stepmom actually coming on friday um i'm gonna go pick them up from sofia airport uh early in the morning that'll be fun um yeah, we we're hoping that the weather would be nicer, but it's still uh, it's still going to be pretty cold when they're here. It's um, it's their first time in Bulgaria, and it's their first time meeting Hudson. So uh, yeah, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, they're here for I think it's three or four days, um, and the day that they leave, my mum comes. So yeah, it's it's all go. So we're trying to be positive, think about other things. Um, yeah, can't wait to see people. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be lovely. guys it's a sunny Tuesday here in Bulgaria um, just down in the in the local town close to us just been feeding some strays picking up a few essentials for the day um, just want to thank all of our patreon supporters uh, that that is where your money is going we're, we're helping to feed the strays dogs 
sometimes cats, although most of them are uh, are cared for by other people. Um, but yeah, just wanted to say a massive thank you to anyone who supports us. So I'm going to head to the house this morning. Um, even though it's sunny, it's still a little bit cold. Um, so I won't be carrying on with any of the, the window stuff. I won't be doing any painting or, or anything like that. But I have cleared some space downstairs. So my plan today, I'm here just for an hour this morning. Um, maybe I'll move some of the stuff from upstairs to down and then upstairs will be pretty clear. All right, a little change of plan. Because uh, it's sunny out here, I'm moving some of the metal that I've been saving up for the guys to come and pick up again. Um, I actually went through our place, uh, our other house, uh, yesterday. Um, and I've collected a load of stuff that I'm going to throw in the car and bring here as well. Um, yeah, I want to sort of get that done before I need to clean the car. Got to clean the car because people are coming. I can't remember the last time I did it. I uh, got the odd wardrobe out of the way and a few other bits. So I'm just sort of stacking stuff that we may find useful or, or stuff that's cool that someone else might want. Um, yeah, I'm not just going to chuck everything, but the wardrobe had it. Um, now I've got to get these bed frames out. That's going to be fun, they're freezing. Something that's quite common here is you actually find designs on uh, a lot of these beds and they're hand painted. They're, um, they really are pretty cool. Just, uh, it's not our style. Those things are heavy, especially first thing in the morning. I'm uh, not ready for it. I forgot I saved up all of this as well. Maybe not today. That's uh, that's worn me out. Got another bit over there as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. So to move all of that, I'm probably going to need to get my grinder. Uh, it's already here, but I, I don't have any charged batteries. Um, but that is all of the metal out of the house for now. Uh, if I've got time today, I'll bring the other stuff from the other property. Um, yeah, out in the sun is, is much nicer than being inside. And going into the room where I just was, you can see here now I've, uh, I've cleared the space. So this is for all of the stuff that's upstairs that we've saved. So this is just going to be sort of a a stock room if you will this wardrobe is probably going to end up being burnt but i need to cut it down into some smaller pieces first now when i was looking around the the property the other day i haven't really looked through everything um and there was a couple of drawers left over and i thought oh, okay let's have a look and i found you know an old glasses case an old ashtray that sort of stuff i found two coins um one is from 1912 
and one is from 1894. So that's that's got to be the oldest coin I've ever held, you know, personally. Um, really cool, had a look online. Um, really good ones are worth quite a bit of money, but these are pretty much scrap value for the silver. Um, because they're silver, I'm going to keep them. It's awesome to have. But um, yeah, make sure you look through things before you, <laughs> before you start turfing everything out. This unit here um, seemed to be pretty common in Bulgaria you know, at a certain point in time. And uh, Nibble Touch, uh, some of our friends who also do YouTube, so go check them out. Um, they did a video on restoring mine, looked really cool. Now I was going to ask them, and I keep forgetting, but they had some, some broken glass panes. Um, these are the original ones, and I think you can see it's got the beveled, sort of etched glass. So, nibble touch, get in touch, and uh, let me know the dimensions. If these are the correct ones for yours, if you want the original glass, I'll send it to you. So it's refreshing because it feels kind of warm today. It's hot. <laughs> in fact, we're really hot in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's getting a little bit done in with the cold weather. Um, so as per usual, um, in town, back and forth, place to place. So last week, on top of all the other negative things that have been happening, um, Lee got pulled over by the traffic police. He always does. They pull him over all the time because you look right dodgy. So and they they made him it's get like out. It's Mafia Mercedes. That's what it is. <laughs> they made him get out of the car. They made him open the boot, look through the boot, looking around everywhere. And he's and and like literally, because there's obviously nothing wrong. They've checked his documents. And then they then they pointed at his license plate to clean it. So Lee got out a wipe and cleaned it. Bear in mind. This was during a snow blizzard, right? You can imagine driving and the rain and everything coming up. So yes, his license plate was dirty, but my goodness, if you see- You can, you can still read it. You can still read it, and you should see what people get away with on the streets. You've seen in this video, the guy standing in the back of the <laughs> open air van. And then they charged him 50 lev, 50 lev for and, uh, a dirty reg plate. And the slip that they gave me, there's, there's two that you can get. We, we found out. One of them you can contest and go to court, but they won't ever give you that one because it's not worth their aggro. So they gave me one that you can't contest 
and made me sign it before I was allowed to read it. Yeah. So, so this is a like, tip. For, yeah, <laughs> this is a tip for Brits. Don't sign anything until you have proof in English of what you're signing for. We've been guilty of this in the past because you just want to get out of the way and get on with your life. So they made him sign it and then gave him the slip with the English translation, which was extremely naughty. So just to bear in mind, you know, we it's still only, what, 20 quid or whatever, but it's like, come on. It just happens to us a lot and we're not doing anything wrong. It's just gonna happen. If you, if you look, obviously, maybe not local, maybe. I don't know, maybe it's just me, bad luck. Well, our friends think it's because I've got visible tattoos. Yeah. Which you can see as I'm Yeah, drawing. exactly, exactly. So we've gone, come to InterVT to pay the fine, which apparently you can do at these, what you call easy pay places, where people go to pay their electric bills, and it's really kind of good system. So Lise took the slip to easy pay, and they're like, no, 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 you've got to go to the traffic police. So then we've gone to the traffic police, and frustratingly, they only accept card for the payments, and our bank card is lost and missing, so we're waiting on a new <laughs> So you're standing there with cash and you can't even pay the penalty and we have like one day remaining. But luckily there is a, actually like a bank within the immigration and traffic police. It's all part of one centre and you can pay it via the kind of bank there. So anyway, it's a little charge. A, a charge of doing so, but a lot of back and forth and you think, oh. So that's another tip. If you're paying for anything um, at the official places like immigration or your social security or traffic police slips they only really accept card in all those places otherwise you've got to go a bit around the houses to pay with cash so it's just another tip from our <laughs> bad luck week <laughs> so yeah anyway all paid up sorted out and uh, back home got to go back to work and um, that's probably the end for today's vid and thank you for everyone that sent I put a post up on the community page about questions so we probably at some point will do a Q&A video just for anybody that wants to maybe know a bit more about us where we've come from what we've done how we ended up here um, so thank you for the questions if anyone else after watching this video has other questions about what we're doing or anything really we don't mind sharing our lives with you uh, feel free to pop them in the comments on this video and maybe we'll do that one in a few days time. Mm -hmm.